again everyone, my name is Jessica and for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my new updated farming routine here in Royal High and I think it's been a while since I've ever posted a farming routine here on my channel. So yeah, I just wanted to share my new farming routine here in this game as a level 1200 plus since there are also some new quests that we can do here and same goes with the art class. And I also just wanted to share that I'm going to be hosting a Q&A, a mini Q&A video, and I'll probably going to post that next week. So if you wanted to ask me some questions, you can just find this post on my community tab and just leave your questions at the comments. And before I start showing you guys my farming routine, if you do like these type of videos, I would really appreciate if you leave a like on this video. And subscribe to my channel because we are reaching 4,000 subscribers and it would really mean a lot to me. And if you want to stay updated on my new videos, be sure to click that bell notification. And without further ado, let's get started! So of course, whenever I'm gonna start farming here in Royal High, I always check out my dailies. And as you can see here, I have already done some of my dailies and doing these, you know, things or your dailies here in Royal High can help you earn, you know, some extra diamonds. And of course, doing some of our quests here in Royal High can help us farm some diamonds and as well as level up. Also, let's not forget doing our self-care needs since once we fill this up, it can really give you a lot of XP. I'm not really sure on the exact amount, but it can really give you a lot. I mean, that's what I've noticed. So now what I'm gonna mostly do is just do some of my quests and with the mix of self-care needs. And I think most of you already know this hack where you can actually do two self-care needs at once or you can also do like two quests at once. So you can just finish right away when filling up your self-care needs or just complete some more quests. And I really do recommend for you guys to do this hack. Okay, so currently I am at the front office and I'm just gonna do the Poppy I Got Hurt quest. And I've also learned a hack for you to finish this quest way faster because this quest can be a little bit time consuming to complete. So all you have to do is just spam click this out of my head because that's like the option that I choose a while ago when I was talking to Poppy. So if you choose other options like the knee or the elbow, you could just spam click the out my elbow or my knee or something and you will notice the bar above will fill up way faster.
Okay, so I've been doing some art classes, like sessions, and some of the people or some of the players that I'm with here right now are just writing their answer on the board and not draw like the thing that they have. And it's just really funny just for everyone to, you know, get the right answer right away. And I think I'm just gonna do a bunch more art classes here. Okay, so I'm done with the art class. I'm just gonna continue doing some of my quests and maybe some of my self-care needs as well. Okay, so I am at the dungeon and I just realized I could just use my teleportation wand and just go to the dungeon like right away and not just, you know, open the secret door or something. <laughs> it just wasted some of my little time. <laughs> Okay, so my diamonds are currently at 699,161, so I actually wanted to reach 700,000 diamonds, so I'll probably just gonna do a bunch more quests just for me to reach that goal. Also take note, I am not using any diamond multipliers here on my main account since I'm still saving up for that one. And do expect that I might earn a little less diamonds and I think that is also like one of my small issues I'm not really like making this as a big big issue but because whenever you level up you get 300 diamonds without any diamond multipliers which I think for me is not enough and knowing the prizes of items here in Royal High can be you know a challenge for you to earn diamonds in the game and I just wish that Royal High could make the level up diamond prizes I'm not sure if that's what it's called but they could like make it a little bit higher like make it 500 diamonds I think that would be okay especially for beginners because I actually tried this before like starting over and farm in Royal High it's so difficult well, I mean, we also have like diamond multipliers, like I said before, and you do need to pay like real money to, you know, ha to gain more diamonds whenever you level up and also like some other stuff <laughs> in the game. And it could really have like that much advantage whenever you're farming. So yeah, those are like some of my thoughts of the farming system here in Royal High and I'm not really sure if you guys wanted me to talk in this video because I just wanted to share some of things just so you guys won't get bored while watching this video or just skip some parts because I know some of you do that because I do that sometimes I just low-key expose myself but anyway let's move on with our farming routine here in Royal High Alright, so I have already reached 700,267 diamonds, which I can say it's already good for me. And I do notice that I might earn a little less diamonds this time because I only did this farming routine around 50 minutes. And also a while ago when I was gonna start farming here in Royal High, my grade level is at 1266 and now I am at 1275 which means that I've leveled up nine times which I can say is not that bad but if I have to farm you know with more time maybe like one R or two R's I'll probably level up more and also earn some more diamonds so I think my tips for you whenever you're gonna farm some diamonds here in Royal High or also level up is for you to do quests as much as possible and 
your self-care needs and also be sure to check out your dailies and some of the farming routines that you usually do here in Royal High really depends on how long you farm so let's just say you've farmed uh, more than an hour so do expect that you might earn more diamonds and level up more and you can always try different farming methods and just to see for yourself if that farming method works out for you and if you think that you only have a limited time to farm here in Royal Hyatt, that's completely okay. You can always farm the next day or the other day or whenever you're free to check this game out. And if you do have the Diamond Multiplier Game Pass, that's really great and do expect that you can earn much more when farming here in Royal High. And those are some of the tips that I just wanted to share for you guys when farming here in this game and hopefully this would help you out. And that's just it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you do like this video, I would appreciate if you leave a like and of course subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you at the next one and have a great day ahead. Bye!